what's up guys welcome to class once again so <clears throat> in today's class i'm going to be teaching the exercise at page 33 of a mechanical drawing manual so do you to stay attentive as you know all right <clears throat> so i'm going to start with number three number three talks about construction of angles and the first angle we are asked to construct is angle 22 and a half degrees so for us to construct our angle 22 and a half degrees making use of our 60 degrees and 45 degrees set square <coughs> as the basics so the first thing to do is draw your horizontal line and thereafter the end of your C square being fixed to the working edge of your drawing board or drawing table. You draw angle 45 with the aid of your 45 set square. So let's take the point at which the 45 degrees set square intersect the horizontal line to be A. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is let's assume a distance of about um let's assume any distance for a b so line a b let's assume it's about it's about 70 millimeter <coughs> let's assume it's about 70 millimeter so line AB is about 70 millimeter so all right so if I the first question says we should and um, construct or we should bisect angle 22 and a half degrees and for us to do that we are going to make another because when we draw the end when we place our 3060 set square in this direction we actually we literally have 120 degrees to line a b then when we place it at this direction From point A, we literally have angle 60 degrees to line AB. Same thing with our 45 degrees set square. So when it's placed at this direction, we have 135 degrees to line AB. And when it's placed at this direction, we have 45 degrees to line AB. All right. So, for us to construct angle 22 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, we have to bisect angle 45 degrees. So, with the aid of our compass, at any convenient radius, making sure it's not too big and at the same time it's not too small. So, we place our compass at here. We then strike an arc. To intersect angle 45 the line making angle 45 to line a b and also line a b we strike an arc to intersect the line making angle 45 to line a b <clears throat> and also line AB so what we're going to do now is all right so what we're going to do is we bisect 
angle 45 degrees and for us to do that if um we are going to pick the points at which the arc intersect line hb the points at which the line and the arc intersect line hb at any convenient radius we strike an arc then at that same radius at that same radius we place our compass at the point at which the arc intersect line or and uh, the line making 45 degrees to line heavy then at the point at which they intersect please do ensure it at the point at which they intersect we have our uh, 22 and a half degrees since we all know that half of 45 degrees is equivalent to 22 and a half degrees so all we're going to do next is to join point a to the intersected point which makes our foot angle 22 and a half degrees and this time around it's going to be a thick line since we're actually asked to construct or to bisect okay since we're actually asked to construct angle 22 and a half degrees so <coughs> it's line a b thick we also took in out angle 22 and a half degrees and then we are good to go so that's for question a Question A. All right. So the next question, question B says we have to construct angle 50 degrees. And for us to construct angle 50 degrees, we are going to be bisecting angle 180. We are going to be bisecting the angle between angle 120 and 180 degrees and we all know that the angle on a straight line is equivalent to 180 degrees so the angle at point a b is zero degrees why the angle on a straight line a semicircle is equivalent to that of 180 degrees so for us to bisect, for us to construct angle 150 degrees, we have to bisect angle 90, angle, angle 120, we have to bisect the angles between 120 degrees and 180 degrees. So at any convenient radius, with a compass being placed at A, we strike and hack to intersect line 180 degrees and also line 120 degrees. Then at point, at the point at which the arc intersect line 180 degrees with an extended radius of our compass, we strike an arc with that same radius being placed at the point at which the arc intersect angle 120 degrees. We strike another arc to intersect the other arc we made the other time, and then the point at which the point at which the two axes intersect we give our uh, angle 150 degrees so we then join points the points at which they intersect to point a all right so this time around it should be a thick continuous line because we are actually hacked to construct so this time around it's going to be a t continuous line since we are actually asked to construct and do 150 degrees all right so um please do ensure and uh, it's at the point at which 
it intersect the axis intersect and also it's at point a okay then we have this to be angle one fifty degrees yeah twenty two and a half degrees all right so up next is angle 52 and a half degrees so angle 52 and a half degrees is the bisection of the angles between 60 degrees and 45 degrees so applying the same principle it's a compass placed as point a we strike and hack to intersect line to intersect the angle making 45 degrees to a to line a b and also the line the line making angle 60 degrees to point to line a b so so at the point at which we are intersect angle 45 degrees line we strike an arc at any convenient radius then at that same radius we place our compass at the point at which the arc intersects 60 degrees we strike another radius to intersect the first radius we made and the first arc we made we strike another arc to intersect the first arc we made and then at the point at which they intersect each other we have our angle 52 and a half degrees All right, so question D. <coughs> All right, so the next question asks us to um, construct angle 112, 112 and a half degrees. And for us to construct angle 112 and a half degrees, this is the bisection of angle 120 degrees of the angles between 120 degrees and 105 degrees so for us to construct angle 112 degree and a half degrees the first thing to do is that we we construct we get our 105 angle 105 degrees and for us to to get for us to and for us to go about uh 105 degrees we have to bisect the angle between angle 90 and we have to bisect the angle between angle 90 and 120 degrees so with a 360 set square being placed perpendicular to our t square while ensuring our t square is well fixed to the working edge of our drawing board so using a thin continuous line we draw a perpendicular line to line AB. We draw a perpendicular line to line AB to give us angle one, angle ninety degrees. So up next is to bisect the angle between ninety degrees and one twenty degrees for us to have our 105 degrees so we apply same principle we strike and have to intersect line 120 degrees and 90 degrees then extend our compass strike another arc at point at the point at which the arc intersects line 120 degrees then with the same radius 
at the point at which the arc intersects 90 degrees. Strike another arc. Then at the point at which both axes intersect, we have a uh, 105 degrees. All right. Please do ensure it's a thin continuous line because we are not asked to construct. Please do ensure. Please do ensure it's a thin continuous line because we are not asked to construct a 105 degrees. All right. So up next is to bisect the angle between angle 105 and 120 degrees for us to have a 112 and a half degrees. So we strike an arc to intersect line 120 degrees and line 105 degrees. Then we strike then at the point at which the arc intersects 120 degrees, we strike another arc in the same radius being placed at the point at which the arc intersects line 105 degrees, we strike an arc and then we have our angle 112 degrees, 112 degrees. At this time around, we make the line tick because we are asked to construct angle 112 degrees. Alright. So. One, one, twelve, and a half degrees. Angle 112 and a half degrees. <coughs> Up next is angle 37 and a half degrees. All right. <sighs> angle thirty seven and a half degrees is the bisection of the angles between angle thirty degrees and forty five degrees. So for us to construct for us to get our angle thirty degrees, we place a thirty sixty in such a way that it's at the direction of angle 30 to line AB. So from point A, we can use our thin continuous line. We draw a line inclined at 30 degrees to line AB. So this is equivalent to our uh, 30 degrees. Up next is to bisect the angle between <coughs> 30 the angle the angles between angle 45 degrees and 30 degrees for us to have our 37 and a half degrees. Alright. So we apply same principle we've been working with. Strike and arc to intersect line. 30 degrees and 45 degrees and at the point that you they are intersect line 30 degrees at any convenient radius strike and arc with the same radius being placed at the point that you they are intersect line 45 degrees we strike another arc then we have a 37 and a half degrees <coughs> we then join then join the point together by ensuring it's a thick line because we are asked to construct angle for 37 and a half degrees. Then we name the line 37 and a half degrees. Lastly, for us to bisect, for us to construct angle 146 and a half degrees. I think there is an error there. It should be 146.25 degrees. So, for us to construct angle 146.25 degrees, 146.25 degrees, 
all we are going to do is we bisect the angle between angle 135 degrees and 157.5 degrees 157.5 degrees and 135 degrees and for us to construct our 157 degrees 157.5 degrees we bisect the angle between 150 degrees and 135 degrees so with our compass being placed at point a we strike an arc to intersect angle And the, and the angles, yes, we check an arc to intersect line 150 degrees and 135 degrees with an extended radius. We also strike an arc at point one at the point at which the arc intersects line 150 degrees. Then, with the same radius, we strike another arc at the point at which the arc intersect line 135 degrees all right so at the point at which the axis intersect we have our 157 and a half degrees so this time around, the 157 and a half degrees will be a thin continuous line because we are not asked to construct 157 and a half degrees. But it's a step at which we need to arrive at our 146 and a half or 146.25 degrees. So, next thing to do is to bisect the angle between. So the next thing to do is to bisect the angle between 157 and a half degrees and 135 degrees. So with our compass being placed at A, we strike and hack to intersect line 157 and a half degrees and 135 degrees. Then the compass at point at the point at which the arc intersect 157 and a half degrees we strike an arc while ensuring the arc is in between our 157 and a half degrees and 135 and a half degrees so at the point at which the arc also intersect line 135 and a half degrees we strike another arc Then at the point at which the arc intersect, the axis intersect each other, we have our 146.25 degrees. All right, and you are good to go. All right, so do ensure that your works are being done separately for easy convenience and neatness. Thanks. All right, everyone. So, <coughs> question four talks about a triangle ABC stands. It stands on side AB as base and has the following dimension: AB to be about 89 millimeter, AC. 76 millimeter and angle CAB to be 67 and a half degrees. So we are asked to construct the triangle and draw the inscribed circle. And for us to draw the inscribed circle, we are going to bisect two angles within the given triangle. So at first, let's let's construct our triangle. The first thing we are going to do is draw a straight line. And after which, it's the aid of your um, ruler. And after which, with the aid of your ruler, you measure out um, AB, line AB. 
which is it's a nine millimeter. It's a nine millimeter is equivalent to um, eight point nine centimeter. So. We decide to take in line AB. Alright. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bisect angle C A B. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to bisect angle C A B. Angle C A B is given to be 67 and a half. So what we are going to do at first is that <coughs> with the aid of our compass at any convenient radius we strike and hack. We draw a semicircle to cut line to cut line A B to cut line A B yes then Angle 67 and a half is within um, is the bisection of angles 60 and angle 75. So all we are going to do at first is with that same radius we construct our angle 60. So with the same radius we strike an arc to intersect the semicircle at angle 60 up next is to construct our angle 75 and for us to construct angle 75 um, we bisect we get our angle 90 angle 90 is constructed in such a way that we with the same radius at which we construct our angle 60, we strike an arc at point at the point we at which the arc made with angle at which the arc made with the semicircle with the same radius we strike another arc to get angle 120. We then bisect the angle between 120 and 60 so we may decide to increase the radius and radius so we strike an arc with the same radius place that point at angle 120 strike another arc to intersect the other arc at so the next thing you are going to do is we join the point at which the arc intersect the axis intersect to point A. Then we have our uh, angle 90. To ensure it's a thin continuous line, because we were asked to construct angle 67 and a half. And not angle 90. So, what we are going to do next is to bisect the angle between 90 and 60 to get our 75. Alright, so with, with our compass at point 60, we strike and hack with the same radius, our compass at point 90. On the semicircle, we strike another arc to intersect the other one. We have then the point at which the arc intersects each other. We have a uh, 75. We then join the point at which it intersects to line to point A. This is equivalent to our angle 75. So the next thing to do is we bisect the angle between 
angle 75 and 60 to get our angle 67 and a half so let's increase the radius it's our compass at 0.60 we strike an arc also at 0.75 on the semicircle we see radius we strike another arc all right so on the point at which the intersect is our uh, angle 67 and a half and this time around it's going to be thick it's going to be a thick line but i would advise we make it a thin line at first because we don't know how the height we don't know the, the height of line ac so okay line ac we're given line ac to be 76 millimeter so with our with the aid of our ruler we measure out the 76 millimeter which is equivalent to 7.6 centimeter on our meter rule all right so we're taking line ac So we then join point C to point B. All right. The question says we have to inscribe, and we have to draw. We have to draw the inscribed circle. So all we are going to do is we are going to bisect two angles. We bisect two angles um, for us to inscribe a circle into triangle ABC. So let's assume we have to bisect angle AC and angle ABC. So <coughs> it's our compass. At point B, it's our compass at point B. At any convenient radius, we strike and hard to intersect line AB and line BC. Also, force we. Also, we can decide to do the same thing. The same, we may decide to use the same radius for angle AC, ACB just to make our work faster. So, we strike an arc to intersect line AC and line CB. Up next is that we bisect <coughs> angle ABC, and it is done in such a way that we increase the radius of our compass we strike an arc at the point at which the, the first arc we this very first arc we strike the other time intersect line AC we strike an arc line AB we strike an arc then at points at which the arc intersect line BC we strike another arc with, with the same radius to intersect the other arc. All right. The next thing we are going to do is that at the point at which and the arc we strike at point C intersect line AC we strike an arc with that same radius and point at which the arc intersect line BC. We strike another hack to intersect the first hack we made the other time. Then we get the point. So the next thing is that we join 
this first point to line to point B. So this is a thin continuous line. Then we have our the bisection of line uh, of angle ABC. We do the same thing to our angle C. So, at the point at which line and the bisection of angle C and angle B, the lines of bisection of angle C and angle B intersect each other. That will be the center for our circle. So, with the aid of our compass, We extend our radius to the last edge, one of the last edge of, our, of, of the line. It could be line AC, it could be line AB, it could be line BC. And we then draw a circle. We then draw an inscribed circle. We then draw an inscribed circle. As points who we extend our compass to and at point O we extend our compass to one edge of the line, it could be line AC, it could be line A B or line B C. So let's draw the square circle. Please do ensure that the circle is thick. Because we are asked to draw an inscribed circle, so it means to be thick. Alright, so this angle we, we constructed earlier on is angle 67 and a half. And then we are good to go. <coughs> then we, we may decide to dim dimension our work. Line AB is given to be 89 and a half. 89 millimeter. And line AC is given to be seventy six millimeter. Alright, so we are asked to construct triangle ABC such that AB is 70 mm and at the same time it the base and AC is 55 mm, BC is 76 mm and then we have to draw and we have to draw a circumscribed circle. Alright, so what we are going to do is normal step the basics 
So we draw a line at first. Then measure out your line AB. Line AB is 70 millimeter, which is equivalent to 7 centimeter. So okay. Then we take line AB. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is line A C is 57 centimeter and <coughs> 57 centimeter is equivalent to 5.7 centimeter on our meter rule. So we then with the aid of our compass we measure out 57 millimeter with our compass tip at point zero we extend its radius to five point seven on our meter row to five point seven mark on our meter row which is equivalent to fifty seven millimeter then with point A at the center we strike and hack at the upper region also we are told line BC to be seventy six millimeter so what we are going to do is that we take the radius of 76 millimeter on our meter rule. So with our T compass tip at zero centimeter mark, we extend the radius of our compass to, to 76 76 millimeter on our meter rule, which is equivalent to 7.6 centimeter. All right. Then at point B, we strike an hack to intersect the other hack of 57 millimeter we made at point A earlier on. So that at the very point at which the axe the axis intersect, we name it our point C. Then we then join line A C and line BC okay so we are halfway done so we are halfway done so the last question was to draw a circumscribed circle to this to the triangle ABC and for us to go do that we are going to bisect any of the two lines so we may decide to bisect line AB and line AC or probably line AB and line CB so let's assume or let's bisect um, let, let's pick line AB and line AC so for us to bisect uh, line AB as point A we extend our compass to be more than half of line AB. Then we then strike and hack, hop, and down. With the same radius placed at B, strike another hack to intersect at B. We strike another hack to intersect the first arc we made. Alright. So, at the upper and the lower region, we then join the points at which they intersect each other, both at the upper and the lower region. Alright, so, we are going to bisect line AC. So, we strike an arc. With our compass at point A, we strike an arc up and down. With the same radius, with our compass placed at C, we strike another arc to intersect the arc at the upper region and at the lower region. Then we join the point at which they intersect at the upper 
ang luwahe dyan alright so the points at which line the bisecting line of AC and AB intersect will be our center circle center the origin so the point at which the line intersect will be the origin of our circle all right so up next is to draw our circumscribed circle and it is drawn in such a way that we extend our compass to any of point a or point c or point b all right so with the end of our compass being ex at point o being extended to point a we then draw a circumscribed circle. Please do note that it's a thick circle because we are actually asked to draw to construct a circumscribed circle in this case. AB is given to be um, 70 millimeter the end of our team continuous line 70 millimeter Do ensure that your dimensioning is not within the circle you've constructed. Then line AC is given to be 57 millimeter. And lastly, line ACB is given to be 76 millimeter all right then we are good to go